Hello everyone, this is Penny, welcome to my channel. Today I have some beautiful Easter DIYs for you using mostly color three items. So let's get started. Alright, for the first DIY you will need one of those Christmas camper, I think it is. And yeah, and basically I'm going to be removing everything. So I use the heat gun and a little screwdriver to remove all the little pieces and also I use the same paper to smooth it out all that glitter. Alright, so now I'm just going to cut some of the part of the tire just to make that board a little bit straight. And then I realized that I also want to remove that other part and I did that as well. Alright, once I had all that sending part done I did like a little half circle or like a little door kind of thing and then right on the top like a little waves just to create that um, illusion like it's a rock and also remove the excess using the box cutter and also some of those clippers and smooth it out the edges and now we are ready to add some paint so here I'm using my favorite child paint and the color white and once i was done with that i also add some of that antique wax and just to give it that really nice touch all right so once that was done we're going to leave that on the side just for a little bit and now we're going to use those popsicle sticks and also that oval little wooden part is stained all those pieces and then with the popsicle sticks basically i just going to be creating little crosses nothing special just place a little bit of hair glue and there you have it all right so now we have all the pieces together just to be able to attach them Alright, so here I place it on the back just to know exactly where I'm going to be adding the glue and then go ahead and do it. Alright, when that part was done, now I'm going to place the other part right on the top which is going to be like a, another rock. Alright, then I decided to cut a little bit the bottom part just to make it look flat and then send it out, stain it and add some hot glue and there you have it. I think it looks so beautiful already and then I thought I need something else to make that like a little stand so I just add a little jingle block and a little cube stain it and place it on the back at this point you can just leave it as it is and I think it looks absolutely beautiful but I thought I have some little stickers that I have from Dollar Tree but then I thought I think I also have something that I had created before with my maker so I decided to use that but it's not necessary you can also use just little stickers from Dollar Tree and or even a market and would be just fine all right so for the final touch I decided to add some eucalyptus little bridges and also a little piece of the popsicle stick but I paint those on white right on the bottle and basically that is it for this one and I just love love how this turned out what do you guys think? Before to move on to the next DIY, I want to mention it that today I'm being part of such a fun collab with such amazing ladies. So we're going to have a playlist, so make sure you go and check it out the playlist after you finish watching my video. So let's continue crafting. 
for the next DIY you will need those little houses and I'm also using in here a, a sample tile that I got in Home Depot I think <laughs> and some leftover popsicle sticks alright so now I just going to remove the sticky things over there and also sand it the most I could alright so with the tile I did trace a couple times to create the shape of the house so just a couple times and then you will be able to bend it and there you have it so now we have all the pieces ready to add some chalk paint so let's use the white color once the paint was dry i went ahead and used the empty wax and just stain it a little bit the edges just to add some character and give it that really nice rustic feel Alright, I also going to be using a wooden plank and also some a uh, Jenga blocks. Those are the <laughs> original Jenga blocks for the game and that's why they look a little bigger. Alright, so those are going to be the my base to place the little houses together. Alright, so I place it just like so, just using a little bit of high glue. Alright, so now we're going to place the first little house right on the back, on the edge, as you can see, and then right on the front, the other one, the medium one, and right on top, we're going to place the little one. And look how cute that little church looks already, so about to complete the look, we need a little cross, so with the popsicle stick that we saved, let's make one and just place it right on the top or right on the center however you like it better so i went from the top part and i think it looks just perfect but then i thought i don't like those gaps <laughs> that is optional and i just grab more popsicle sticks stain it and then just place it on it and i just think that those little details is what make the diys um nice at all i don't know just good nice finished look and oh my goodness look how cute so then i thought i'm going to add some eucalyptus so i basically remove all the little branches from the large branch <laughs> and then basically i'm going to make a little tree or bushes just by putting some together, adding a little dab to high glue just to hold it on together, then tie it all together with a little piece of twine. Of course, we have to use twine. <laughs> Talking about twine, the Twine It Up Challenge, it will be back soon. Uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be announcing uh, probably in one week the new co host. And yeah, I'm really excited. I know it's been a while. And uh, but I'm excited because it will be back soon. And then we're just going to add a little bit of high glue and place it on each side of the church. And look how cute. And this is optional as well. I Like I said before, um, you can also use Dollar Tree uh, stickers. But I have some of those transfers that I have made before. And I decided to use it. So, oh my goodness. I think I have said that so many times. I just love how this project turned out. But I also love to know what you guys think, so make sure you let me know on the comments down below. <laughs> Alright, for the next DIY, this one is quick and easy. I found those little houses with a little stand on the bottle and so I basically go into paint it in white with the same chalk paint all right so now we're going to, all right so the paint is dry we're going to leave that on the side for a little bit and it's staying that thick cross just like so then I'm going to place that cross right on the bottom part of the base as you can see right on the corner just using a little bit of hot glue and then I'm going to use that other little piece of wood that I have 
happened to be the same side of the little house and basically place it right on the front or yeah next to the cross to create the little um, like box but i'm not going to close the other sizes of the box uh, i think it looks just cute like that and then i'm going to be also placing a little sticker or the card that i have so that is it for this one i think it came out absolutely beautiful and yeah you don't have to use a uh, decals but you can also use dollar tree stickers Alright, for the last DIY, this one is quick and easy. I didn't record how I became to this part, but I'm going to try to explain to you a little quick. Alright, so it was a wooden plank, as you can see in there, and then I cut it in half, and then I place it all together and drill it. Voila! Alright, <laughs> add some chalk paint, and there you have it. So now we're just going to be using some twine the one that has some wire inside and then some wooden beads as well right some of those wooden beads i already had painted it so i want a little bit lighter so i add a little water and paint on a simple bag throw it in there and mix it like you're marinating a chicken <laughs> and there you have it so now let's put that garland together For the final touch, I make a little cross with the popsicle sticks to use it as a T. So that is it for this one. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. But let me know which one was your favorite one. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to go and check it out the playlist and get tons of inspirations. God bless you all and see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.